Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted, modded, or even boot looping Nexus 6P to the March security update. Now what I mean by boot looping is for those who are suffering from the boot loop of death and are using a patch boot image that will only utilize four cores. Now this of course is bundled with the four core TWRP as well and that is what I'll be showing you in this video. So if you don't have the boot loop of death, I'll be sure to make note which parts are optional to download and which parts are also optional to do as well. So uh, with that being said, let's get started. So first up, you'll need to download a few things, starting off with the SDK platform tools. This is just Fastboot and ADB and other executables that you'll need. And just download the one that is right for your operating system here. Once you've clicked on it, check and agree with the terms and conditions, scroll down to download from the blue button. Once you've done that, you'll also want to download the latest factory image for the 6P. Now just scroll down and scroll all the way down. You'll see there are two versions, one for everyone else and one for those on the SoftBank carrier. Depending on which carrier you got, you want to download the factory image that is right for you and you just click on the blue download link here. Next up, we also want to download the latest version of Magisk. So just scroll all the way down to downloads in the first post and click on latest Magisk. And now these are the optional downloads for those who are suffering the boot loop of death. So Osmosis has been kind enough to now uh, provide his boot loop of death workaround using his any kernel 2 zip, uh, which is this one. You want to download this, and also you want to download the TWRP 4 core with the file based encryption as well, uh, baked into it. You want to download this image as well. So these two files, just click the download file and download this. And if you need to do a survey from Google, just do it. That's how these guys make money. So just download these two if you have the boot loop of death. So after all that, you should have these files here, the factory image and Magisk and the platform tools zip. And these two extra files, the BLOD workaround and the TWRP image that is also patched. You'll need these two files only if you are suffering the boot loop of death. Once we've got that, we can now go ahead and start extracting stuff. So we're going to open up the platform tools zip file and we're going to go into platform tools and this is what you want to extract. You want to extract adb.exe and the two adb DLLs. You want to extract the fastboot exe and the libwinp thread1 DLL, dash one DLL. And just in case we need to use it, you'll also want to extract the make f2fs exe, the mke2fs conf and the mke2fs exe as well. So these um, Eight files now. Thanks to the person who pointed this out last time I did a video about flashing factory images. And once you got that done, you can close the factory, close the platform tool zip, and you want to open up the factory image zip. From here, we're going to extract the radio and bootloader images outside just like this. And then you want to open up the image zip file inside the factory image. And then from there, you want to extract the boot, system, and vendor images, just like that. Okay, once everything is extracted, you can close the factory, I mean, sorry, the image zip and also the factory image. And then we should be able to now copy over a couple of zips to our device. So you want to copy over the latest version of Magisk and also the boot loop of death workaround injector if you are, of course, suffering from the boot loop of death. Otherwise, don't worry about it. And after you've copied those two files, we can now boot reboot into the bootloader. So we're going to do this by going to our device here, and then we're going to hold the power button and tap on restart. And when the phone turns off, hold the power, sorry, the volume down button until your phone boots into the bootloader. Once your phone is in the bootloader, what you need to do here is make sure your phone's plugged in, which it is. We're going to go back to our computer. And so what we want to do after extracting the platform tools is hold shift and right click in an empty space and then open one of the options here. Either open command window here or open PowerShell window here. I'll be using my console emulator so I can zoom and enlarge things. But depending on which operating system, you'll have a different way of executing these programs such as Fastboot or ADB. Now please have a look at the images. So once you understand that, we can go ahead and continue with the process. So again, I'm using Windows and I'm going to be demoing this on the command prompt. 
So the first thing we're going to flash is the updated bootloader. So we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader. Leave a space in the end and drag in our bootloader image. Hit enter. Once you've done that, you want to reboot your phone back into the bootloader. So we can do this by just quickly going to our device and then navigating using the volume buttons and then pressing the power button to select reboot bootloader. Once our device is back into the bootloader, we can continue. And we're going to flash the updated radio image. Flash boot flash radio. Leave a space in the end and drag in the radio image and then hit enter. And once you've done that, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader again. Just do the same thing and wait for your phone to go back into the bootloader. And once it's in, what you have to do now is flash the boot image. So we're going to type in fast boot, flash boot, leave a space in the end and drag in the boot image and hit enter. And then we're going to flash the system image. So we're going to type in fast boot, flash system, leave a space in the end, drag in our system image. Okay, once the system image has finished flashing, we're going to flash the vendor image. So we're going to do the same thing, type in fastboot flash vendor, leave a space in the end of vendor, and then drag in our vendor image. And once this is finished, those who are suffering the boot lip of death, we're going to flash or ensure that we have this 4-core TWRP installed. You probably already have it, or maybe you don't have it, but the way we're doing it is we're going to be using TWRP to flash that boot loop of death workaround. So we're going to type in fastboot, flash recovery, leave a space after that, and drag in the 4-core TWRP, and flash that. Once you've done that, everyone can reboot into TWRP, where we can reroot. So just head back to your device here, and then use the volume buttons to go down to recovery mode and then press the power button to select it. Now your phone should boot into TWRP regardless of if you have the 4-core version or if you have the normal version. Okay, you also need to decrypt your data partition if it's encrypted. So for those with the boot loop of death, what you want to do is flash your workaround zip first and tap on that and then swipe to confirm flash. Okay, that's done. And you can already notice uh, that TWRP is a little bit more sluggish when it's only running on four cores. But after that, this is for everyone. Then you can just flash Magisk as well if you want root. Okay, now that's done. All you need to do now is reboot unless you have any other mods that you want to install in TWRP. So I'm going to tap on Reboot System. Now, depending if you're phone is patched or not with four cores, uh, your boot up time is obviously going to be a little bit different. So mine's going to take a little bit longer since I've patched it. Now your phone should boot all the way into Android and from there we're just going to have a look at a few things. So I'm going to fast forward this until we get into Android. Okay, so we're booted into Android and from here we can have a look at if we're still rooted. And we are probably are. So I think it just finished its update. So we're going to tap open up Magisk and just see if we're rooted. And we are. Maybe we can pass the safety net check as well. We don't know. And if it does, then that's great. But I think so far it should still be passing. Yes, it is. And just a quick check to see if we're running on four cores. We can look at the CPUs here. Even though it says eight cores, that is just the, I guess, the system on chip that has eight cores. And we can see that we're only using CPU 0 to 3, which means our first four cores, and the other ones have been stopped, which is perfect, which is what we want for those who are on the boot loop of death. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Now, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down below. And as always, you can hop on my Discord if you want to chat about anything else or if you want uh, you know, better help because the YouTube comment system isn't the best place to do things like this. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. And as always, happy flashing.